The time period of a geostationary satellite is 24 hours at a height 6 RE. Okay, so this is the satellite. Okay, now the height from the surface is 6 RE. So therefore, from the center, it's going to be 7 RE. <coughs> so uh, let us now find out the formula for the time period. Okay, so at any so this is gme m by small r square r is the distance from the center so for any r which is distance from the center of the earth this is equal to m v square by r where v is the velocity so this is the centripetal force which is required and the centripetal force is being provided here by the gravitational force okay so r r is gone m m is gone so therefore velocity is equal to root over g m e by r now since velocity is this time period is equal to 2 pi r divided by v 2 pi r is like the entire circumference of the orbit so this is equal to 2 pi r divided by root over g m e by root over r so this is r to the power 3 by 2 so the time period is proportional to r to the power 3 by 2 okay so now we can uh, easily find out so for height of 6 r e the r small r you know from the center of the earth is 7 r e so therefore T1 is equal to K to 7 RE to the power 3 by 2. Now T2 is equal to again K. Now that is how much? So this is 2.5 RE from the surface. So therefore from the center of the earth it's 3.5 RE. So 3.5 RE 3 by 2 gone. Gone. Gone gone so this is equal to 2 to the power 3 by 2 so therefore now it's well it was 24 hours so 24 divided by t2 is equal to 2 to the power 3 by 2 so therefore t2 is equal to 24 by 2 root 2 so this is 12 so this is equal to 6 root 2 hours so therefore it's going to be a now, uh, someone may tell that, sir, why not use the Kepler's law directly? Actually, we have used the Kepler's law directly only. But only thing is, I have proved it. Okay. T is proportional to R3 by 2. Yes. So, T square is proportional to R cube. That is also, you know, T is So, T1 square is equal to T1 square by T2 square is equal to 24 by like whatever the time period is okay that is t2 square okay now radius what is the radius 7 re in this case to the power 3 by 2 and 3.5 re to the power 3 by 2 okay and that's how we did so we have used the kepler's law only here but only thing is we have proved it.